In this question, we're given points A and B in space and asked to find vector A, B in component form. When a vector is in component form, the initial point would be at the origin. Let's begin by taking a look at vector A, B in space with initial point A and terminal point B. So here's a graph of vector A, B with the initial point A would be here and the terminal point B would be here. We want to find this vector in component form which would give us the same vector, but the initial point would be at the origin rather than at point A. Let's take a look at that vector as well. So here's the same vector in component form. Notice how the initial point is at the origin, but the two vectors are parallel, pointing in the same direction, and have the same magnitude. So again, our goal here is to find the component form of this blue vector using the information given from the purple vector. When we have the initial point and terminal point of a vector in space, to find the component form of the vector, notice how for the x component, we find the difference of the x coordinates. To find the y component, we take the difference of the y coordinates. And to find the z component, we find the difference of the z coordinates. Where x sub one comma y sub one comma z sub one is the initial point, and x sub two comma y sub two comma z sub two would be the terminal point. And because a is the initial point, this would be x sub one, y sub one, and z sub one. And because b is a terminal point, this would be x sub two, y sub two, and z sub two. So vector v, which would be the component form of vector a, b, would have an x component of two minus negative four, a y component of negative three minus three, and a z component of negative five minus negative one. Simplifying, we have an x component of two plus four, six, a y component of negative three minus three, or negative six, and a z component of negative five plus one, or negative four. This is the component form of vector AB. I hope you found this helpful.